So we just got back from the fur ball, the Snake River Animal Shelter fur ball. I'm pretty much dressed the same without the guy liner. Yeah. But I did have these really super cool glasses. Oh. Hang on. Let and me. you have sparkle brows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they're real cute. They did a uh, Thanks, Lisa, for doing door. my sparkle brows. Yeah. yeah, which I think is so smart, too. You know, add to the outfit, add the door, you know? Yeah, okay, let's see if I can do this. Yeah, so. here we go. All right. We're gonna, this was his big shtick. <laughs> we're going to disco tonight. Hang on. Boom. Yeah, baby. Yeah. And then you can yoink. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. And if you bob your head, it even looks cooler. It looks very at party rockers in the house. Yes. Imagine <laughs> yeah. some heavy EDM music going on. <laughs> right, right. Or as Tyler from A&B Productions did tonight, mm -hmm. a bunch of 80s stuff. Right, right. Yeah, it was cool. Or like, you know, if maybe you were on a substance, then oh, this yeah. would oh, be very exciting for you. <laughs> are you are you referring to Molly, MDMA, <laughs> methylene dioxide, <laughs> methamphetamine? I'm not referring to anything because I don't know drugs. I don't do them. Sorry. <laughs> Developed by the German pharmaceutical company Merck, used as a truth serum in World War One, legal in the USA until 1985, uh, used in marriage counseling because it belongs to the family of drugs called intactogens, which Mikey. literally means touching within. Too in much? The, in the coolest way, you might know too much. <laughs> I did a little research. What? <laughs> I know you fall out of those weird little holes sometimes. <laughs> I do. I've told you. Mikey obsesses. My, you Mikey do. hyper fixates. You look lovely once again. Thank you. <laughs> I got the dress from Lily's on A Street, my friend's shop. My hair is by Eileen Campbell at Hair and Dippendy. Uh, this is a little Amazon special. And the jewelry <laughs> is kind of a... This is actually a really neat piece. I got it in the last bookshop in L.A., and I don't know if you can replicate it. Sorry, dudes. The theme was <laughs> Tales from Space Tonight. Yeah, which is so cute. <laughs> at, at the furball. And also, uh, realistically, animals have a really terrible history of being in space, so... <laughs> Pigs in space! Well, I mean, in the sense oh, that any time that an dog? animal has been sent into space, they haven't really been expected to come back. Yeah, but what are those tardigrades? Yeah, those things, yeah, like those life, are great. Yeah, they can exist basically anywhere. Life can survive mm -hmm. on like meteorites and stuff. Yeah, no, but I'm talking about like critters you could find at an animal shelter, like the furball. I'm talking about just living things. Like they even say that it's possible <clears throat> that our Earth may have been seeded hmm. with life on a biological organisms. Oh yeah, on a meteorite that crashed into Earth. Oh yeah, totally. Like we were sort of a, a geosphere. We were the tardigrades of the day. And a meteor made us a biosphere. That's cool, man. How'd we get off on that? Mm. Anyway, as we understand it, congratulations, Snake River Animal Shelter. I believe they reached they met their, their goal. One hundred thousand dollar goal. How cool tonight. is that? I know that well, at well, least some of the money falls. came from me. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Lane and Whitney Virgin uh -huh. from Virgin Riverland and Cattle Company. They rock so much. They were so much fun tonight. I actually bought Whitney a psychic reading tonight. Let me tell you about uh, my favorite thing of the evening. <laughs> well, and here's the funny thing. <laughs> right when she was done with the reading, she had to run to the bathroom. And at that time, I actually ran and bought those cups for us. <laughs> so what do you think this looks like? <laughs> uh, well, Mike, it looks like two uh, identical cups, except one's clear and one's purple mm -hmm. and full of snow. Well, let me tell you something. Look at this. This is, oh. <laughs> I'm spilling snow everywhere. But what's cool about these cups is, yeah. They I'm change based on temperature. I'm still impressed by the stupidest stuff. <laughs> it changes color when your cup gets cold. So let's see if How we can make this. That? So now I've transferred the heat. You know what? When I was a kid and my dad was getting merch from the theater, he got some from a, a movie called I Love You, Man. Uh -huh. And it was a mug. Paul Rudd. Uh-huh. And the dude from How I Met Your Mother. Right. Jason and it, somebody. Around. And it changed color to from white to pink when it was cold. And I took that to girls camp with me because I thought it was the coolest. And so the entire week I drank out of a mug that said, I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> And looking back, I'm sure the other girls were completely unimpressed, <laughs> you know, but Color I changing. thought it was cool. <laughs> How long do these last? Are these like glow sticks and they're done tomorrow morning? Oh, no, they or last forever. Like, they last forever. Okay. They'll keep doing that. Why am I so impressed by stupid, silly stuff like this? Did you know that there are Barbies that do that? 
Really? Oh, like a plethora of them. So many different types. I wish. And they're all very cool. All women in general would do that. So we we'll change color based look, on temp. Well, we do. Look we at go- my color. I'm either hot or cold. Figure it out, buddy. <laughs> okay, to be fair, we don't change color. We change position. And we go from huh to. <laughs> okay, body language. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Which I know men language have a hard time with, but. <laughs> anyway, and let's while we're throwing out mad props, let's say hi to Tyler from A and B Productions right, yeah. who killed it. Host and our good buddy Brad Barlow, B two X, was uh huh, and he looks so, so good great. tonight in his little space suit. Yeah, yeah. Michelle Zeal Dingman, who I can't believe the good work that she's done at the Snake River Animal Shelter. She's killing it. This yeah. is the second episode in a row we've talked about her. Right. Also, what's up to Gray? What's up to Dane? That was fun. Oh, man. Well, and also Dane in his barf outfit. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Hilarious. From Spaceballs. Yes. I guess so every table. There were like 40 tables, I want to say, of 10 people I'd say like 35. Okay. But damn near. Okay. And each table, you know, had everybody go around and say what they were willing to bid. On a dessert. To the Snake River Animal Shelter. Mm Mm-hmm. For the sole purpose of being at the front of the line to pick out these beautiful, and everybody beautiful like donate, there was this really long table of cakes. <laughs> yes, like wildest imagination cakes. In a world of pure imagination. So our table didn't do too bad. We were in the top. Yeah, we 10, were like. I think. I think we were top five. Whitney goes up there and uh, oh, chooses out, chooses out the most delicious looking. The whole time I'm thinking, what's she gonna get? What's she gonna get? I'm gonna be happy with anything. I'll be happy. German chocolate cake, fine. Mm, I'll be honest. Cherry pie, you know fine. What? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the jerk here. I'm not happy with any dessert. Yeah. I don't like chocolate cake. I like chocolate. But I don't like things that are like not chocolate, chocolate that are flavored to be and, chocolate. Yeah. Like, it, it feels so artificial to me. You're not a n- normal person. Well, <laughs> I'm not. It's we know fine. That. <laughs> it's fine. But no, but most like, people. <laughs> I don't like chocolate flavored cake. You know, like, either be chocolate or be cake. Don't be both. I like those fruity, vanilla y flavors. It's different. And speaking of fruit, she <laughs> just won the night. She, she picked did. out a, a delightful lemon cheesecake. Oh, Which with was lemon curd on top of it. Amazing. Oh, it was the best. How cool and are these And of course, cups, because though? she's the, the nicest person ever, she and her husband sent us home with a good portion, if not all, I haven't looked in the box yet, of that cheesecake. What's in the box? <laughs> right? Great time. Listen, if you yeah. get the chance to go to the Snake River Animal Shelter Fur Ball, do it. Or just the Snake River Animal Shelter. 